So today's tutorial will be a quick and easy sign up process, hopefully for all of you. What you want to do is go to this URL. It is earthengine.google.com slash sign up. I'm having to do it in incognito mode because I need to do it without cash because I've already signed up and I want to show you what the interface looks like for you. When you go to earthengine.google.com slash sign up, it will send you to this sign in page. So just use an email and they will ask for the password. It does not have to be a Google email, so I'm just going to sign up with an arbitrary email just so that I can show you what they will prompt you with. Okay. So to sign up for Google Earth Engine, go to earthengine.google.com slash sign up. Sign in your email and then it will prompt you with this, these fields. You're going to want your full name, an affiliation slash institution, and I really recommend that you fill that out. Even if you don't currently attend a university, perhaps you are planning on attending or have previously attended university. It helps with the Google Earth Engine developers when they see that there is some high level uh, intellectual impetus and backing behind what you want to do with uh, Google Earth Engine. And so <clears throat> go ahead and make sure you put some sort of affiliation with an institution. Um, don't leave any fields blank. And you want to be very specific in your description of why you are asking for uh, privileges to use Google Earth Engine. In other words, what do you want to accomplish? Be goal-oriented, be very specific with what you want to do. Examples say you want to perhaps look at a time series of the lower Manhattan area to see how construction projects have progressed over the last 20 years. Okay, that's an example. Another example would be say you want to look at a time series of the last 30 years of Landsat images over South Florida and to see how the South Florida Water Management District have been uh, managing their water by looking at the wetness and dryness of you know, the Everglades um, and comparing that with uh, comprehensive policies. Things like that. Make it sound like you are a researcher there to do research. Don't say you want it as a play toy to see how it works and to get acquainted with it. That's probably not going to be enough for them. Um, I've never applied for it that way, um, but I've known many, many people who have applied for Google Earth Engine uh, using the criteria that I've given you now, and I haven't known anybody that's gotten rejected. So go ahead and after that you're going to agree, and you're going to say that you're not a robot. And that's it. Um, remember to submit, and this is going to take up to a week. So good luck everybody, I, I hope you all get it, and remember to like if this helped you out, uh, comment with any questions that you might have, and subscribe. We're going to be talking a lot about Google Earth Engine, its applications, uh, sort of in a broader spectrum, what it can do, and then I'm going to walk you through step by step in a series of videos uh, just of what kind of potential it has. And so I will see you all in the next one.